Hello guys, this is a quick update on the FIFA World Cup 2022 in Qatar. The biggest football competition has started and let's check out what happened around the beautiful tournament. But before we go any further, if this is your first time watching our video, please like, comment, share the video and please hit the subscribe button. I'm your host Nippun and let's get on with the show. This is distraught. Raheem Sterling has vowed he will only return to England's World Cup campaign when his family are safe. The Three Lions Aces Mansion was targeted by a gang who stole £300,000 worth of watches and designer jewellery. Police understand his fiancée Paige discovered the raid on Saturday night less than 24 hours before England's clash with Senegal. Raheem pulled out of the Garrett Southgate squad and dashed home after learning of the terror raid. He is hoping to return to Qatar for Saturday's quarter-final against France but only if he thinks his home is secured and his family are not at risk. Paolo Bento has left his post as South Korea's manager after their 4-1 defeat by Brazil. Bento has been in charge of the South Korean national team since 2018 and he won 35 of his 57 matches in charge. But South Korea suffered a disappointing quarter-final exit at the 2019 Asia Cup and could not upset the odds again. Against Brazil. However, a spokesperson from the South Korea Federation reportedly intervened during the press conference to deny Bento had quit. He claimed the Portuguese was just taking a rest and considering his future. But it appears Bento has actually left his role. Bento becomes the third manager to leave his job at the World Cup. Following Roberto Martinez's resignation as Belgian boss and Tata Martino of Mexico. Japan stars left a wholesome note in their dressing room after being knocked out of the World Cup. The Samurai Blue lost to Croatia on penalties in the last 16. Despite their heartbreak and tears at the final whistle, the squad still took the time to clean their dressing room and left it in immaculate condition. The team also made origami cranes, which they left behind as a gift to their host. And once again, a message of gratitude was left, just as Japan did following their historic win over Germany. The words thank you were written in Arabic and Japanese as the team played their final match in Qatar. The team did likewise after losing to Belgium in a similarly heartbreaking circumstance at the 2018 World Cup. Neymar paid tribute to Pele as Brazil served up a football feast worthy of the stricken king. Samba hero Neymar, Vinicius Jr, Rickarlison and Lucas Paqueta all scored to book a quarter-final clash with Croatia on Friday. Pele posted a message of support from his hospital bed before the game and the team responded by holding up a banner honouring the great man at full time. Brazil's official Twitter account posted, We are with you, King. We always go on together. Pele is suffering with complications from bowel cancer amid reports he has been put on end-of-life care. But before we go, with so many crazy upsets in the World Cup, which underdogs team will go far in the tournament? Please hit the subscribe button and leave your answers in the comments section below. Until next time, do take care.